LBD2 has placed the EOS-07 satellite in its intended orbit very accurately. Along with the EOS-07, two more satellites were also placed in the required orbit, Janus-1 by, through NSIL and from the Antares, and Asadisat through InSpace, uh, by the, realized by the space kids. So congratulations to all three satellite teams for making uh, the satellites as well as placing in the right orbit and I wish all the very best to the rest of the operations of the satellite for accomplishing their mission goals. Probably all of you are aware that SSLV had its maiden flight, SSLV D1 and we had a narrow miss of placing the satellite in the orbit because of a shortfall in velocity and I'm very happy to report that we have analyzed the problems faced in the SSLV D1, identify the corrective actions, implement it in a very fast pace, qualified all of those new systems, went through large amount of simulations and studies to ensure that the vehicle will become success this time. I am very happy to see that the really intended model of the vehicle has been executed in reality in flight. So we have also a good news that the Orbit achieved by the vehicle today using its very novel, cost-effective and very innovative guidance and navigation system is exceedingly good. We were targeting to put it in a 450-kilometer orbit. We have very, very close apogee and perigee as well as inclination is very, very small, error only. And this, is, this also shows that the, the new model of the vehicle navigation system and the electronics that you incorporate in SSLV is doing very well. Before I speak further, I would like to introduce very important people who have worked behind the scenes to make this mission success. First and foremost is the mission director of SSLV, Sri S. Vinod, who is a veteran of the PSLV era, who has taken this task of developing this vehicle along with a small team of people. I think they have toiled for the first mission as well as second mission. Now I will hand over to him to talk about the vehicle and also then to uh, the Project Director of the Satellite, EOS-07, Sri Ravichandra Babu, will speak after that. Over to you. Thank you, sir. Let me first say good morning, ISRO, and good morning, India. It's a momentous occasion for us. It's a proud occasion for ISRO that we have now a new launch vehicle to be offered to the launch vehicle community. It all began in 2018, a journey which started in 2018 at reached its intended destination today. The journey which has traversed through its nascent phase of configuration, realization, fabrication, testing, analysis, and finally it even had to overcome the COVID phase it reached the launch pad last year and we had the maiden flight in August, 7th August. As mentioned by Chairman, we had a small anomaly observed in that and we couldn't put the satellites in the intended orbit. But detailed analysis further by a number of teams was carried out and we were able to pinpoint the problem in the system and we had to overcome that and I would I would like to say that we overcame that and in the shortest period of on five minutes or five months we have come back. In the shortest period of five months we had to realize five new hardwares, a new separation system. In addition to that we had to make modification to the navigation and the guidance scheme and also carry out a lot of testing to make the system robust. Today we could accomplish with this launch the laid objective of SSLV that's to have a low cost, low turnaround time satellite which can offer launch on demand. This would not have been possible but for the effort of a number of people. I think the entire ISRO has worked for us, the launch vehicle team in VSSE, 
the navigation the navigation team in iasu the propulsion team in propulsion liquid propulsion team in lpsc we had the range team and also the istra team and also the satellite team jiving with us to realize this happen i thank all of them for the tremendous support they have offered to us and of course we derive our confidence from our review mechanism there have been lot of review mechanism and starting from the design review the configuration review then the post flight review the post test analysis all those things the review mechanism has helped us and i today acknowledge the rigorous review conducted by all the review committee and thank them for the support i also thank the management